Hey guys, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to fix your Bluetooth problem or if you have a connectivity issue with your Bluetooth on your iPhone. In this video, we're going to give you some tips and tricks to troubleshoot the issue. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for one of the newer iPhones that you can see in my hand, make sure you guys check out the link to the discounted iPhones in the description section. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. The first thing to connectivity with your Bluetooth is make sure that your Bluetooth is actually on on your iPhone. And simply to do that, there's a couple ways. First thing you can do is in the control center. Here, as you can see, we pull down the control center here, and then we're gonna make sure that Bluetooth icon is actually blue here, so it's turned on. If it's grayed out, that means the Bluetooth is not on. So you're gonna make sure that it's toggled on. Another way to make sure that is on is by going into settings. And once you're in setting, you'll see that Bluetooth option again here. If it's off, it's going to be like that. You want to toggle it back on till it's green, and then you're going to start seeing uh, the devices in the area if you have the device next to it. Next thing you want to make sure is the device that you have actually has the Bluetooth on feature. Sometimes, if you have a device, for example, your headphones or even uh, your AirPods or any device that's Bluetooth possible, it could be there's a button on there and that needs to be turned on. So make sure that is turned on so that it can actually uh, discover the devices itself. Next thing you want to do is actually make sure your phone is up to date with the latest software. And to do that, simply go into settings, you go to general, and once you go to general, go to software update. And in the software update, it's going to be checking for updates. Make sure connect it to a Wi Fi. And if you see there's an update that needs to be downloaded and installed, go ahead and click on download and install. You want to make sure you're at the latest iOS because that Apple releases fixes and bug issues that will sometimes affect your phone if you update it recently. And that will help to make sure it addresses those issues. The next thing you want to do if that isn't working for you is simply go into Bluetooth again. And this time when you're at Bluetooth, if you see a device here and it looks like it's connected, it will have a green check mark. You want to click on that icon and forget that device. So to do that, it's going to be something along those lines of these icons you have here. And once you see those icons, you're going to forget something along those lines of forget this device here. For example, this one's not We're going to click on it and disconnect and make sure you're not connected. Next thing you want to do is make sure the phone, you're able to do a restart of the phone. Sometimes the phone does need a restart to pick up new signal and simply do the restart on a newer iPhone 10 or above. You're going to hold the side button and the volume up button at the same time. Keep on holding it together till you see slide to power off. You're going to go ahead and slide that. And give it a good 15 to 20 seconds until the phone is fully turned off. And what this really does is a phone to really go turn everything down, shut it down, power it off, and cycle it back on. And to do that, simply you're going to hold the side button this time. Keep on pressing and holding until you see that Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, the phone has been shut off fully and now rebooting again. And hopefully any sort of minor hardware issue that you have will restore those issues and you're able to connect to the Bluetooth device you're looking to do. And if that doesn't work and you're still having issues with the Bluetooth not connecting, now it's time for a full forced restart or a forced reset. This forced reset will not delete any data. It's the more thorough that it turns everything completely down and clears the memory of the phone's cache that it has saved. And to simply do that on the newer iPhone 10 or above, you're going to press and release the volume up and then the volume down and then hold the side button. And once you hold the side button, this time we're not going to slide to power off. We're just going to keep on holding the side button till the phone goes black and the Apple logo reappears again. Keep on holding just the side button here. And we're going to keep on holding till we see the Apple logo and then let go. And this is doing a full force restart of the phone to clear everything out. This is really does help with any sort of issues that you have your iPhone, not just the Bluetooth. This seems to fix a lot of the issues. And finally, if that hasn't worked and you're going to want to do what's known as a backup and restore, this is where you're going to do a full reset of the phone. It's more uh, time consuming. It does take a little bit more. And that's why we're going to be leaving you guys 
link in the description section with the video for that make sure you guys check that out we're going to back up your phone connect it to itunes or using your icloud backup and then go into your settings by going into general and then you're going to go to reset and erase all content and setting and what this will do is reset the phone factory default and that's why you're going to do a backup so you can recover back up all of your data onto it and if all of these steps aren't helping and you're still having issues with the bluetooth connectivity of it some sort of it could be underlying hardware issue in that case you're going to have to take it to an authorized apple service center or the apple store where they can run a, a thorough diagnostic and give you a full evaluation of the phone and give you a general idea if something needs to be actually replaced or fixed internally hopefully this video is helpful if this video is helpful please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time